to you super fast about the CAT course sequence, um, which, has, which is CAT 1, 2, and 3. The course sequence is writing focused um, because CAT, after all, is a writing class or set of writing classes. Um, so the lower division sequence focuses on writing instruction, teaching skills to help students succeed in their future college classes, but also really beyond. We're thinking about writing as a foundational skill and writing as tethered to critical thinking, critical reading, um, research, uh, the production of new knowledge. Um, and so writing for us is at the base of that sort of everything we're doing in CAT. Um, the courses are interdisciplinary and taught by faculty from across campus. This is one of the things that's really fun about Six College is we have a variety of topics. They're all thinking about culture, art, and technology, but doing it from a different perspective. So from an anthropological perspective or from the perspective of music, or what I'm, I'm concerned from the perspective of media history. Um, and so the topics are going to vary pretty widely across CAT classes but the skills that you'll be learning will be the same um, across any sort of track of a CAT 1 course, for instance. Uh, lower division CAT sequence is structured around teaching writing as a process. Um, and so we're asking students to engage with these big ideas and big texts, um, but then we're asking you to think about using writing as a way to think through these questions and the texts that you encounter and the issues that you encounter. Um, and also to think about writing as a process and writing is tethered to thinking. So CAT 1 is four units. Um, it is not a writing intensive class. It's kind of the pre-writing intensive classes. And the, all the topics sort of are about the past in some way, shape, or form. And some of the questions we're asking are what kinds of evidence are worth analyzing? How can we read the past critically? How do we understand histories as narratives that serve particular purposes? Um, so history, not as just this thing that exists kind of as truth, but history as a construction, historical narratives as working towards particular political and ideological purposes. And these are our course goals. So CAT 1 is really critical reading focus. So we're thinking about summarizing academic argument. We're thinking about genre and rhetorical knowledge. So how do you understand how genres shape your experience of reading and writing and your expectations surrounding a particular text? And then process. So we're really starting to think about writing as a process and developing strategies for generating ideas, editing, revising, and proofreading. CAT 2 classes are set in the present. So we're moving from past to present, thinking about how do we use that information that we learned in the fall to engage with the present. I mean, how do we dissect contemporary arguments about art, technology, and culture? And really, how do we develop media literacy for the present moment that helps us sort of create distance and allow us to think critically and critique what we see happening in the world around us. So here are the CAT 2 course goals, um, writing and rhetoric. This is a six unit class. We're really focused on argument. Um, and so that is one of the primary goals is argument. So thinking about the organization of an argument, how do you use really good evidence and analyze that evidence in service of your argument? How do you move away from writing that kind of five paragraph high school essay and develop your skills to write at this sort of college level? Um, and then we are also thinking about revision and citation practices. And then CAT 3 is where we'll start doing research as we think about the future. Uh, all the CAT 3 classes are set in the future. This year I'm super excited because we'll be theming CAT 3 around issues of climate disruption. Um, we have professors from theater, from Scripps Institute of Oceanography, from physics coming to teach with us to think sort of critically about the, the planet, the climate, and the future. Um, CAT 3 goals are as follows. This is a, so this is where we build on those skills developed in CAT 1 and CAT 2 to think again about writing and argumentation, then how do we do independent research? Um, how do we use those citation practices we learned in CAT 2 and apply them when we're doing this kind of independent research? You'll also be working collaboratively in group projects. And then one of the major goals, which of course ties into the sort of art underlying kind of art ethic of Six College and of the culture art and technology program is art making. And so we'll be asking you to think about like how does research 
work in a creative process and how do we collaborate? And part of that collaboration too is to build those communication. We've been doing a lot of writing and communication, but how do we build communication skills interpersonally? How do we make arguments kindly and ethically to our group member? And so that's part of that sort of skill set that we're hoping you develop in CAT 3 as you also imagine different, better futures. Um, and so potential projects you could do would be, I have my students make sci-fi films. Uh, past classes have also developed video games as part of their final project, um, or instruments to detect extraterrestrial life. Um, which again brings us back to this question of like how art and technology and science are all sort of intersecting. So this fall we're offering four different uh, lectures of CAP 1. Um, the first, uh, in no particular order, the first is Transformation of Cities, which is a sort of comparative global history of cities um, with Dr. Chattero, who's an emeritus history professor. Um, and then we have Origins with Dr. Al Ghazi. He's coming from an anthropological point of view and he's looking at kind of the quite literal origins of culture, art, and technology um, in, uh, in then we have Histories of Literary Creatures uh, with Dr. Gum, who's the Associate Director of Writing in CAT. Um, and she's coming from a literature perspective uh, to talk about sort of just the histories of animals and magical creatures. Um, and then I will be teaching, uh, Dr. Bronstein again, I will be teaching um, a class tentatively titled Unslash Natural Spaces. And um, we're going to be looking at histories of environmental representation in American media. So. Uh, we'll be looking at early film, um, journalism, um, some, maybe some literature or short stories um, to think about environmental representation and the stories we tell about the environment. Um, we are also piloting this fall um, a core reading across all of the Cat One classes. Everybody will be reading um, Robin Kimmerer's uh, first chapter of Braiding Sweetgrass. And then we're really excited to be bringing Dr. Kimmer virtually for an event uh, midway through the term. Uh, more info on that will be coming soon. And then lastly, I just wanted to end with a quick note on course delivery. Um, obviously last year we were fully remote. Uh, this year we are expecting following university guidance to go back in person um, in the fall. All CAT lectures and discussion sections will be held in person. Um, we will follow any and all UC San Diego guidance on masking sanitation. Obviously, there'll be the vaccination requirement. Um, and just a quick note that attendance is required across all sections and lectures, but obviously we will work with you as needed um, to make any needed accommodations. Um, if there's any reason you foresee not being able to attend your section and you need to switch into another one, we can facilitate that during the first week of the term. Um, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, um, Dr. Gum, or any of the CAT staff. All of our information and contact uh, info is on the CAT website. 